talking about Webpack 5 and the reasons behind the breaking changes we made in, in Webpack and the new major version. And I try to give an idea why we did some things like annoying users with breaking changes and change stuff and so on. We kind of dislike breaking changes and dislike major versions because of breaking changes and they tend to be afraid of breaking changes and they tend to have this kind of uh, af af being afraid of upgrading tools to new versions and so I kind of try to convince them that it's not so bad and we're doing this for reasons and we don't want to annoy the user. Basically we're adding a, kind, some kind of persistent caching system which has a lot of breaking changes, internal breaking changes, but it, I think it's worth doing this change because this feature was the most requested feature from our users via the voting page and yeah, we're trying to improve performance and yeah, so kind of, it's a nice feature and I think it was worth doing some breaking changes for this. Yeah, Webpack is very, you very often used, so I think many people are using Webpack here and also met some other people from other community groups like Babel or other open source maintainers, it's great. I found uh, Henry's talk very interesting. He talked about um, open source maintainability and sustainability and it's affecting us with Webpack because we are also doing open source crowdfunding and so it's me too because I also work full time on open source so it's basically in the same position like he and so it was very interesting and a lot of good insights. Also the keynote was very uh, interesting about language and how they should not fork and yeah, great inspiration. It was my first visit in Amsterdam, but I haven't seen much of the town yet because I have arrived yesterday and there was a speaker dinner and you know, the conference, but I have uh, one few uh, spare day tomorrow where I can explore the city and hopefully it's great. <laughs> <laughs>